good afternoon guys it is afternoon I haven't been for my walk yet but I'm going to and I think that I'm making an important video but you never know but I wanted to ask you a question what would you do if you were told you only had 10 years left to live. What would you do? Well, it's about, I don't know, 12, 15. I think we'll go on a walk and talk about it. Bye. Good afternoon. Yes, afternoon, 12.32, and it's Wednesday. So, what would you do if you knew you had under 10 years left to live? What would you do? I'm sure some people might think, wow, 10 years more, great. Um, but I'm thinking of it from my own personal perspective, I suppose. But I wonder what you would do. I mean, imagine that you went to uh, a doctor and they conducted tests. And when you went to hear the results of those tests, they said to you, um, well, what you have is degenerative um, and I'm sorry to have to tell you this but uh, the prognosis is not good um, and you kind of say well what do you mean it's not good this is all NLP so sunshine this is surface structure is when someone says to you, it's not good. If you then kind of go, oh, oh, okay then. You have no idea of what level not good they're talking about. So you would then go for deep structure and you would say, well, what do you mean it's not good? And if they said, well, degenerative means it's only going to get worse. It can't actually. Hello. Oh wow, it can't actually get better, you know, it's not going to go away, it's just going to get worse and worse, basically. Um, what would you then ask? The 12.47 has just left, if you were not in. <gasps> Tough. You know, what would you then ask? Um, I think I would kind of say, well, the options that you're leading go open to me are very, very narrow. It's almost like there is no option. Um... And if they said, well, there, there actually is an option, you know, we can give you something that will uh, kind of, hello, beautiful. What a very graceful fall. We can actually give you something that will battle the effects 
um, but they're you know they're, they're just going to make life a little bit easier for you to live do you know I do believe it's snowing no Rose it's not well it was in my little reality for a while um, And, and this medication, I mean, you, you're going to have to um, pay for it, basically, to combat the environment that you're living in. Because it's obviously something in the environment that has uh, led... Come on, girls, we'll go this way then. Uh, that has led... Honey, Abby! That has led to the prognosis or diagnosis or whatever gnosis it is um, I have someone behind me who was calling her dog which generally means come on their dogs don't want to play off we go so the best thing to do and he's saying to Ebby come on Ebby mummy wants us to go this way that was lovely anyway I've got my feet in the dirt which is great um, you know, you can actually kind of say, okay, well, we are going in a prickly pathway here. Um, let me just concentrate for a moment while I'm putting my feet. Obviously, there's some benefit I'm deriving from it, which is why I was led this pathway. Uh, everything's a metaphor. Um... So, do you just kind of think to yourself, well, okay, I'm going to get worse and worse, and I have to actually pay for this medication or the insurance as well, and, and if I'm just going to get worse and worse in this environment, then <laughs> it's, it's not a good outcome. Do you understand what I mean? It's like, why would you buy into that? So maybe you would think, well, I need to do some research into this. I need to find out what it is in this environment that has put me in this position where if I go with the advice of the people in the white coats, the serpent wrapped around the sword or whatever it is, um, my options are to work and work and work without ever changing the environment until I can no longer work and then really I've lost total responsibility for my life and my existence because I put it all into the hands of somebody else. You know, you would research, you would research, you would find out what it is what possible ways can you benefit your health and well-being? You've got 10 years at a maximum going down the route this one's told you. And if you accept that, you've probably got five years of, of hard work where you're able to support yourself. And then five years where your life is no longer in your hands. So let's reduce that 10 years to five years, shall we? And you've got five years left to live. What are you going to do? Researching the environment is the thing that I would do. What is it in my environment that is causing this to happen to me? Because it is not something um, that I am doing. I think I'd look at my own health and lifestyle and think, you know, um, are there things that I could change that might give me a better five years of existence? Listen. It's seriously, it's snowing. 
we have to go and find a clear space so that we can see. So, okay, you've got five years left to live. And what are you going to do? Are you going to take those medications? Are you going to keep on being in the same environment? Or are you going to research and find out exactly what you can do to maximise those five years and maybe make them ten? And what if, when you research the environment, you found out that if you could get hormone D naturally from the sun, it would make life much better for you. You might have 10 good years. And what about if you found out that you could gain all the benefits you needed from walking on the earth? Uh, you would have even longer. Would you do it? <laughs> would you walk round barefoot, rubbing your feet in the dirt like this? Or would you kind of think, ugh, ugh, no, I can't possibly do that. What would people think? You know, guys, what would people think? What would people think? Uh, I'm past caring what people think. You know, my environment is not good. And when I pose this question to you, I have had to pose this question to myself. And I've talked to the people that I love. Um, I've talked to the person that I love in a very, very beautiful way. And I've asked other people questions without actually kind of um, saying why I'm asking the question, if you see what I mean. And when it actually comes down to it, you know, you want to make the decisions for everybody. You want everybody to be happy. So do you stay? And there's another beautiful fallen leaf. Do you stay and accept that the environment is not good for you? And die slowly and quietly and gratefully and thankfully because you're with those that you love. Or do you have to Sorry guys, that was just so beautiful. Or do you have to trust in God, in that inner voice that is saying that this is your experience. This environment is no longer any good for you and you need to go and maximize your chances and live your life the best way that you can taking care of your own health and your own personal responsibility for your life. Oh my goodness, I just love this sound. It's beautiful. I didn't actually expect that we were going to get uh, accompaniment of trees, but uh, they obviously have their own thoughts on the situation. Um, you know... You have to do what you think is right. 
you have to do what is right for you ultimately because if you stay for the sake of others um, knowing that it's not a very good environment for you eventually you're going to be of no benefit to those people you you, you may even begin to resent them and if we change this from just a personal thing about oh, I only have 10 years to live or you only have 10 years to live this applies to all of us you know it applies to all of us if we carry on doing what we're doing to this environment we might as well all go now to the doctor and have it stamped on our medical records 10 years no options degenerative <sighs> ultimately gone because this is what's happening guys seriously to all of us and what if it's only five years what if it's four years what if it's three years this is our environment now I might be lucky I might be able to to move away somewhere to the sea where I can breathe in salt air which is very 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 good for my lungs um, it can't sandblast them you know what I mean I have a salt lamp at home and it does actually help with breathing but it's not just me that's suffocating do you understand I've done so much research Oh, the trees are saying, listen. Listen. You know, if we knew that what is happening in our environment would mean that not only I had 10 years left, but you did, my dogs did, these trees did, the birds did, your grandpa does you know, your lover, your best friend, your children, your grandchildren, your rabbits, your gerbils, the birds in your garden, the fruit on your trees, the food in your belly, the breath in your lungs. Would you stay in that environment? Gosh, I have been doing so much thinking and I have so much I want to say. You know, I'm walking barefoot through a forest. I'm grounding myself on the earth. It would be far better for me if I could walk barefoot on earth all over the place, not pavements and tarmac and and I'm past caring what anybody thinks yeah you know and if we keep reducing that time people would realize ultimately they just want to be happy and healthy feel valued and loved that's basically what we all want you know so it's no good plotting about wars here or wars there that might take five years or you know No good plotting your university course or your career. No, no, no. 
It all comes down to this moment and the choices that we make in this moment. And I'm doing the best that I can for myself right in this moment. But we've all got to come together. We've all been given a death sentence. And it's up to us whether we ex accept the powers that be or the powers that were or the powers that think they are or whatever else label is attached to it. Or whether we just say, I have more options than that, thank you. And take personal responsibility for ourselves in this moment. Hey ho, I'm gonna go. Uh, keep looking up guys it's the only way to look and uh, there's always more than one uh, answer to a story do you know what I mean to a question uh, there's always more than one answer to a question and uh, just because someone tells you something you don't have to believe it even if they are your government or your doctor or even your best friend think with your heart and remember enjoy life live it it's exactly what it's about and so I'm gonna sit here and he's gonna dig roots and she's gonna get all of that mud all over my feet which is beautiful I'm gonna make a spliff <coughs> rah rah says Ebby so guys <coughs> from the beautiful Sun Goodbye. Keep going, honey. It's lovely. Bye.